Were some theropod dinosaurs brightly colored in terms of their feathers? Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Welcome back to another video. Now, I have to be honest, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, even into my early 20s, I really struggled with this concept of feathered dinosaurs. You know, I grew up in the mid to late 90s, and, you know, I just thought about scaly, reptilian-like dinosaurs, and I never gave any thought to really feathers, or I, I believe I had a hard time accepting it. And, you know, as more time has gone by and I've seen more paleo artists and more interpretations, I've been a little bit more open to the idea. Obviously, I accept it. In my head, you know, I accepted it a little bit more and recently had the time to, some time to travel to Hawaii, and I got to see some beautiful macaws, some beautiful tropical Amazonian macaws and just the colors that they are, just spectacular greens, spectacular reds, spectacular blues. It got me thinking, you know, we think about theropod dinosaurs. We know some of them were probably feathered, like take Utah raptor. Do we think that Utah raptor could be spectacularly colored like a macaw? Now, it's an interesting concept, you know, this idea of being beautifully colored like that, you know, these beautiful red macaws and these beautiful scarlet greens, just truly magnificent colors when you really think about it. And, you know, also something for another video will be this issue of, you know, think about a feathered theropod. And I, again, I got a chance to witness these macaws. And as they got kind of agitated and rough, ruffled, ruffled, they kind of scrunched their hair up a little bit up top. And, you know, just think about a predatory dinosaur that's feathered the moment before impact or when it gets really aggressive, you know, its feathers just kind of go up and stand on them. Just think about how terrifying that would have been. And again, that's a video topic for another video, but it's kind of really cool when you think about this feathered approach. But how colorful do we think some of these theropods would have been? Now, in preparation for this video in asking around, you know, most people, most experts are probably going to say, if you're a predator, you're not going to be too brightly colored. You're not going to be a spectacular red. But I think that'd be fascinating. And really a good inspiration for this video too is also the upcoming Primitive War movie. So shout out to Luke Spark. I know they're going to come up with something great. I believe it's going to be that rated R version of Jurassic Park that we always hoped for. But you know, they're going to have some Utah Raptors and Deinonychus in there, and they're going to be feathered. So I'll really be curious in the movie Primitive War to see what type of approach they take. Now, I guess the easy answer to this is if you're a feathered theropod, and let's say you're one that has some, you know, some decent size like Utah Raptor, you may have feathers that blend in with your environment. If you're going to live in a heavily forested area, then maybe your feathers were, you know, a lime green and kind of a brown, you're going to blend into the foliage. You know, think about lions and cheetahs. You know, they are kind of, you know, a lion kind of resembles the savanna, kind of a brown and a yellow. You know, it's kind of like long grass, so they blend into that long grass. So if you were a Utah raptor, I do think it maybe would make sense to say it would have been colored green, like, you know, the forest color green. And now maybe there would have been some other stripes mixed in here and there for mating and display and all that. But, you know, it makes sense to blend in with your environment if you are a predatory dinosaur, if you are a carnivore. But again, most important part of these videos, most important part of this channel is you all. I greatly appreciate you. And I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section down below your thoughts on this. Do we think that some theropods could have been spectacularly colored like macaws? You know, again, only thing we can go to as far as dinosaurs in some respects is some of these birds and some of them are very spectacularly colored. Now I know that probably some smaller feathered dinosaurs may have been more brightly colored the smaller they got. Maybe the bigger things get like if you scale something up from a micro raptor all the way up to a Utah raptor, probably the Utah raptor is probably going to be more monotone more single colors and maybe micro raptor maybe have been more brightly spectacularly ornately colored so again what do you think about an animal like utah raptor being spectacularly colored like a macaw do you think it would have been like that or do you think it would have been more kind of monotone more one single color makes sense the one single color approach 
blend in with your forest, blend in with the backdrop. You're going to be an ambush hunter. You want to, you know, disorient your prey so that they don't even notice that you're there. So, again, love to hear from you down in the comment section down below. Brightly colored theropods. What are our thoughts on this in regards to macaws and modern day birds? See you in the next video. Take care.